What's up, guys? I am so glad to be back with a new Honest Review with Nick. Today, we are going to be jumping into the LG Tone Freeze. Um, uh, not Freeze, F-R-E-E-Z, F-R-E, the LG Tone Free uh, in-ear wireless earbuds. Uh, I was a big fan of the LG Tones for a long time that went around your neck. I went through probably six different pairs of them. Uh, when the new ones would come out, I would give them away. Um, a very, I think one or two of them I actually wore until I either lost them. I lost one pair uh, while kayaking. And then uh, I think another pair I wore so long that I just wore them out, um, destroyed them. Uh, the rest I gave away because I love people to have awesome things. And I love to try out new stuff. So uh, today we're going to uh, review this. So when you open it up, I don't think there's anything else in here. I already took the hardware out. So basically this is what you get. A nice tiny little mamma jamma. And to put this into perspective, to let you kind of get an idea of how big this is, shabam, let me see, there we go, bam, give you an idea, one quarter and two quarters. So, you know, from edge to edge, probably about two quarters with a little overlap. Um, and if you put four quarters uh, in like a little, little group, you would have uh, pretty much the exact size of this LG Tone case. You open them up. They are nice and clean. I like them. They're nice. Uh, and what's cool is they fit really nicely in your ears. They connect incredibly quick. See how they fit. Really tiny. Um, very very similar to, to uh, AirPods. So we are in and they are connected. Um, I will show you on my phone where I recorded my screen to give you an idea of how easily they connect um, and then some of the options in the screen so we'll go ahead and cut to that right now is the LG tone app and uh, it was pretty awesome I've never uh, connected to a Bluetooth device as quick as I did with this app as soon as I opened it um, on the home screen um, it said set up earbud and I mean I immediately tapped it and it said connected so I have my right earbud in right now and before I finish the rest of this video I will actually go in and charge these as you can see it's at 29 percent now I only have my right earbud in so let me see what happens if I put my left in these have not been charged so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I charge them before the rest of the video uh, 22 percent and then you have the user manual right there one touch answer call music play stop play Touch twice, end call, volume control, touch three times, play the next song, long press, ambient noise. So that's cool. Um, scroll over and you have charge in the case, obvious. Place the earbuds in the charging case, obvious, but you never know, someone might need that. And there you go. So there's your colors to know what you're charging at. That's a huge gap. That 20 to 80% kind of cracks me up. I feel like they should have done purple at uh, like... 40 to 80 percent you know it's like you're at 20 percent you're dying um when the case is open you can check the earbuds so that's that and ambient noise noise canceling please don't have your earbuds in while you're driving and then bam eq settings immersive neutral treble boost custom so let's see oh that's cool so you can set that up custom too and then what you just hit edit and then bam, comes alive. Save. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. Ambient sound. And I have that on. Yep, so I can hear some birds whistling outside. I can hear myself talking. It gives a little bit of an echoey sound um, with my voice. And then right here, uh, the bird is pretty dang quiet. So that's still with the ambient. So let me turn on. Yeah. I can still hear the birds outside, but very, very quietly. Touchpad lock, touchpad settings. Let's see. Okay, so that's cool. Cool. All right, I like that. And then voice alert, tone free. We'll read. Blah 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 blah. Detailed settings. So it'll read out to you, just like um, most stuff. So you can turn that on and off. Software update. 
we'll just go ahead and check for an update just to see. I do believe it said that I was on the latest whenever I originally opened. And we are good. Okay. So yeah, that's the uh, app. And uh, we'll get into testing the sound of the LG Tone Freeze. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, they fit very nice. And they are incredibly small. So you guys will see them on my head in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and rock out to some music. We're going to get a uh, couple feels of them. One of my favorite artists that I've been listening to a lot lately, uh, it's instrumental, but it is just talent, sheer talent. His name is Tony Anderson. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to him today. Um, as long as my phone, I am using a Samsung Ultra 21. So any Samsung users out there, make sure you like and subscribe and follow. And yeah, do me a favor. If you want, if you want honest reviews, if you want to be able to check stuff out, not have to worry about someone. I don't care how much I ever get sponsored. I don't care if stuff comes my way. I'm always going to give an honest review. I don't think you can buy someone's opinion. Um, my story is very simple. I grew up in a very broken life, very broken home. And uh, went through many years of struggle. My mom grinding, trying to make it happen. So I've rarely had the expensive stuff. Um, and it, when I got some of the, the cool things, it was often a year later uh, when things were on sale and clearance. And so I learned, you know, uh, I always wanted to think I, that I needed to have the best. But as I, as I grew up, I learned that you don't necessarily always have to have the best name to get the best quality. So I want to give you the best reviews, best honest opinions. So this is who we're going to jam out to today. His name is Tony Anderson, and it will not focus. But Tony Anderson on uh, YouTube Music, I encourage you guys to check him out. Give him a like, give him a subscribe. If you like my stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, click the notifications. Um, and then anything that you want me to review, man, headphones, technology, I'm actually going to be doing a laser engraver review. Um, I'm going to be doing a back, a shoulder massage review. I have this the shoulder massage thing my wife and I took on a road trip. It is phenomenal. You guys need to get it. Um, but I want to give you honest review. So anything you want me to try out before you buy it. Um, and you want me to get out there and just say, hey, is it worth it? I will gladly um, do my best to get it done for you. So let's go ahead and listen to some Tony Anderson. This is from The Heart of Man. Okay, so we are jamming out to Tony Anderson. Darkest Night is the song. And obviously for uh, getting flagged and stuff like that, I don't want to put it... Um, on the video uh, because I don't want my, my videos being flagged for music but I'm gonna tell you right off the bat um, I have and these are nice and nice and loud I'm gonna go into I am in immersive is my current EQ setup I'm so sorry that it won't focus. There we go. I'm on immersive. Let's try bass boost. The immersive is nice, guys. So these are your four main. Now remember, I showed you earlier, you can do a custom. So I've got this turned all the way up. I'm not getting any cracking, not getting any peaking. Um, I'm not getting any distortion. I'm on bass boost right now. There's there's uh, violins, cellos. I mean, this is beautiful. Went to natural, very flat sounding. I think my favorite is immersive. Immersive is phenomenal, guys. And I have. Um, noise canceling on so I can barely hear myself talk I can just hear myself talk in my head ambient noise uh, still sounds great I can hear myself talking and I'm just adjusting it I can hear myself um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could hear anybody who was in here talking to me so that's great and the music still sounds great which is really nice actually impressed that might be one of the better ambient sound um, setups that I've ever heard so we are going to touch once um, to make the music stop. Okay, so you have to really. One thing I don't like, is you have to touch it on the back here, which is very like to the side. I'm hitting the front of the of the uh, of the 
headphone. So you really have to reach to the back and almost go like that way to your head. So tap once and then let's go ahead and um, okay so then if you tap twice okay okay so left and right if I tap left twice on my left ear it, volume goes down tapped once it paused on left and right so that's nice you don't have to just pick a side you can pick any side it is hard to find that sweet spot which is annoying so now I've lost the music. Okay, there they go. <laughs> um, all right, so let's turn that up. And all right, there we go. So two times on this side, music up. Two times on this side, music down. And then three touches is the next song. Um, and then long press. I am now in ambient mode. Long press. I am back. All right, so that's um, total immersion. That's the immersive sound in a symphony instrumental kind of music. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to listen to some metal as we always do in most of my videos. And we're just going to go to Zayo, one of the classics, Where Blood and Fire Bring Rest. If you guys don't like metal... Um, then don't listen to it, but if you do, this is a 1998 album that was just phenomenal. So I'm turning it up. Nice and loud, man. Really good volume on these. I'm happy with that. I made sure I charged these to 100%, so we're giving an honest review, because we said we're going to do honest reviews. All right. Nice snares, nice cymbals. Man, these are really well-rounded headphones, guys. I got these uh, at Sam's Club, and I will go ahead and put in the uh, video um, description. I will make sure that you guys know where you can get these, how much they are. I did pick them up from Sam's Club, and I think they were about 80 bucks. So uh, my wife has AirPods. Honestly, these these go neck neck and neck with AirPods, in my in my opinion. Inside it says you get. Uh, the earbuds, charging case, USB Type-C charging cable, you get extra air gels, a warranty card, and user manual. Um, these boast of Meridian Advanced Audio Technology. I've never heard of that. Uh, clear voice call quality with dual microphones. Fast charging, five-minute charge gives you 60 minutes of playtime. IPX4 water and sweat resistance, which is nice. And six hours of... Uh, play on your earbuds and 18 hours in a case so you'll get a three good charges Ugh, and I'm trying to get the case to open there it is all right so you open it up it's gonna be right in there and then you get your your goodies empty the bottom you're gonna get a little sleeve right here which is where you're gonna get your extra gels and your warranty card and then there's your USB-C cable. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you, I would not be disappointed if uh, if somehow I just ended up getting these headphones. These would be a great gift. Let's see what else we got. Let's listen to some hip-hop. Um, let's listen. We're going to just go ahead and rep all Christian stuff today, I guess. My dude, Lecrae. And uh, let's go ahead. If you guys don't know Lecrae, he's a Christian hip-hop artist. And look, you may not even like Christian hip hop. You might not be a Christian, but I would tell you this: if you got kids and you're watching this, and you don't want them listening to um, music that is just talking about a ton of trash, um, this might be a great way for you to get them into something more positive, faith-based or not. You know, it's going to be clean. So we're listening to some hip hop right now, Wildin' by Lecrae. Oh, okay. Man, the low frequencies, the bass on this is impressive, guys. Got the clap, sounds good. Treble's nice. And they're not like super, obviously they're not like 
you know, my Sony's over the year, you're not going to get that deep, deep, crazy low. But these got a great low end frequency. I'm telling you guys, for 80 bucks, these might be a steal. I'm just telling you straight up, I've had multiple pairs of the LG Tones, so I couldn't see any reason why these would not be incredible headphones, especially for the price when I've had the headbands. So, um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and rock some, uh, I know in the past we rocked some Bieber, and I don't care if you guys don't like it, I got Bieber fever. So we're going to just pull up, um... Stay by Justin Bieber. So we're rocking Stay. Intro is nice and clean. Got the great panning left and right. Vocals are awesome, guys. These are clear, man. I'm a big fan, guys. All right, guys, I'm telling you right off the bat, on a, on a 1 to 10, I'd give these things an 8, 9. I think they sound great. It would take a lot to beat them, and at the price point, I mean, they're just killing it. On a, on a, on a bang for your buck, if, if you can get these things for sub $100 instead of paying 200 bucks for AirPods, um, man, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not mad. Now, obviously, your AirPods are going to have find my AirPods in there, so you get that feature, which is going to be beneficial. Um, I'm not sure if LG, remember, I'm always giving you honest reviews right out of the box. These were the easiest headphones that I have ever connected. I'm not kidding, ever. Um, and there is a little button on the side, so I assume that that's going to be your pairing button if you want to repair them or resync them with another phone. Um, and then you have your charging opportunity on the back. That's where your charging hookup is. The case feels great. It's a nice, solid case, durable case. Um, like I said, I've always been a fan of LG Tones. Um, I have never, I, I kid you not, I have tried, I have fiddled with uh, my wife's AirPods, trying to get them to sync at times, uh, trying to resync them is ridiculous. Uh, I've resynced AirPods before and they still had the name from the previous uh, owner because you have to go through some type of release and um, it's just crazy. So, so these things, man, they synced up, I mean, so quick, it was crazy. Let's go ahead and do a um, uh, audio test. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to jump into my headphone test video. I love this video. So let's see. There we go. So we're going to get in here. Bam. All right. So we're going to do a headphone test. This is a great video. It's on um, YouTube. So you just look up YouTube. I'll, actually, I'll put this link in the video for you guys. All right. So this is going to be... Let's see, here we go. All right. So this is a great way for you guys to test the quality of the headphones you currently have. So this is going to be the subs. 200 to 10 hertz. I'm trying to give you guys. So we are on the low end frequencies right now. Checking the bass. One twenty still going. Still going. I'll let you know when it starts rattling. Ninety six. Still going starting to rattle a little bit still going though. I'm impressed let's have a great wow wow still going now oh, it's crapping out yeah that was that was great guys that was a wonderful stayed nice and clear it wasn't even a rattle like a crackle it was just a, that pulsating now this sucks. This is the high. I hate this one. And now we are looking at high. How high the freak? I just have to turn this down because I'm sorry. Can't. So this is letting us know how high the frequencies can go. And I got to turn it down a little more because it's killing me. Oh man. We're at twelve thousand still going. Woo. 
13,000 still going, 14. Okay, gone. So we lost it at 15,000 hertz. You start to, you, it's completely, now I can hear a whistle, but I've lost my, my like oomph of audio. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so this is trying to break. Okay. So this is testing the bass quality, not just the low-end frequency, but the bass ability. This is a straight-up humming. And these things are not falling apart at all. I'm impressed. A lot of the headphones I've tested, and that higher and lower, you get that, or you get that, um, like a crack, crack, a cracking sound from the low end. And uh, these are not cracking at all. These are really doing a great job, guys. These are phenomenal headphones. So now we're taking frequency response. Yeah, these are great. Oh, that high pitch though. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. These these are these are awesome. Let me see what other tests there are. I um, I'm really I'm really impressed. The uh, the back and forth on the left right panning on these is great. I showed you the app how easy it is to work. You're looking for a sub $100 uh, headphone. I'm telling you, these are going to be a great route to go. I've always been a fan of the LG Tones. I wish they had the band. I loved the headband. I don't like having these in my pocket. It's kind of annoying sometimes. Um, so, and I'll show you something right here. These are the Samsung Buds, and this gives you an idea. The case is almost the same exact size, and then the LG, the, uh, not the LG, and then I have my anchors. And I leave my anchors in my office for Zoom calls and stuff like that. Um, they don't really go anywhere with me. They're strictly for here in the office. Um, these ones are my travels. And then these, um, these are great. You know, I don't know if they beat my buds. They might beat my Samsung buds, but I just love my buds. And that I'll, I may, I may return these, sell these, or give them away. You guys let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Has anybody bought these? What's your feedback on them? What's your opinion on them? I think these things just don't... I just feel like they never have got the love that they deserve, even when they had the headbands. LG's a phenomenal company. I believe they're... I, th I think it's like life is good. I don't know if that's true, but um, I'm a big LG fan with their headphones. I always have been. Um, I hope this video encourages you guys. Like I said, if you're enjoying the video, if you enjoy my content uh, and you want, you know, if you have any more questions about them, let me know. I'll give my best um, to, to answer them. Uh, if there's other things you'd like to see in the videos for headphones, um, leave, me, leave them in there. I'll add it in. And if there's other stuff you'd like me to review, please let me know. But if you're enjoying the videos, like, subscribe, hit the bell, um, do all the stuff you know to do. And it would mean the world for me to uh, be able to, like I said, produce more videos for you in this. If you're interested in faith-based content, I do have another channel that is all sermons and messages and encouraging videos, um, stuff like that. And I would love to invest into your life and help you, uh, help you, you know, just just knock life out of the park to know God, find freedom, discover purpose, make a difference in your life. So anyway, as for that, uh, we're on the LG Tone free. I love them. I think they're great. Bang for the buck. I'd say, man, I definitely would give them an 8.9 uh, for a bang for the buck. Quality 8.9. Um, all of the good stuff, man. They, they feel good. They fit good. They sound good. They're a great size. They're a great price. I'd say, man, these things. The only reason I'm not saying a 10 is um, I actually have no reason. I just feel like nothing's yet a 10. You know, I think like when it comes to products, they can always be better. But I would say that this, this is just as good as anything else out there. 
Um, check them out. If you don't like them, return them. But uh, I don't think that you'd be making a bad decision on getting some LG Tone free. And anybody from LG, if you're watching this, good job. Keep up the great work. You want me to try out any more of your products, just send them my way. Get them up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Honest Reviews with Nick. And I appreciate you being a part of my YouTube community.